very good evening to you and welcome to Entertainment Thursday right here on Y254 TV. We're so glad that you are here because there are so many other channels but you chose to be here. We appreciate you now. October is almost coming to an end. And November, yeah, we were told November behave. Eh? October may behave because Monday is a holiday. They say party after party. Now, my name is Philine. You can find me at Philine Jean on all social media pages. And of course, the hashtag is uh, hashtag Y254 updates at Y254 channel and at Feline Jean as well. Keep talking to us. And we might sample some of your comments at the end of our stories if time allows us. Now, I don't do this alone. I have my own panel. I call them my co-hosts. Let's meet them, starting with the very noise maker of this group. Finally! Mm -hmm. Party after party. Call me the only general of Hulu in Boko. Mm -hmm. Hey, Esther and Ronald, we can see one of our one, one, one show. Mm -hmm. So, one boy here and show. Karibuni sana. Maybe we can show Kamakawa, Kamadawa. Right. Yeah. And then you have our Italian queen. She was away for a while. Where have you been? Oh, well, I've been around. Mm -hmm. I'm there, but I'm so glad to be back. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Keep it here. Junil Biatora Giovanni. That's right. And then we have the Mwangis. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I go by the name Dennis Bob Minor mm -hmm. or the Mwangis. Now it's Thursday <laughs> to Jibambe. Jibambe. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck. Yeah. It's stuck. Yeah. 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 All right. And then we have our Sassy. Oh. Sassy, Sassy. Oh. Sassy. What's up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's Jesse Mugore. Hapa ni mawami sana. Mm -hmm. Don't touch the dial. Ata tukienda break msitoke hapo. Right. Mm -hmm. That is how we start the show. Entertainment Thursday is all about trending topics, what's been happening in 254 and beyond. Now let's get started with our first story. Now, a Ugandan man by the name Nul, okay, Semakule, with more than one children and over 19 wives, has added four more wives to his already big family. The 94-year-old comes from Ruyonza, one of the most polygamous villages in Uganda. In an interview with Daily Monitor, Semakule explained that his family desire is to have more wives and children as his big family is translated to wealth. At the moment, Semakulia lives with 66 of his children, with the youngest being 10 months old, and his youngest wife is 24 years old. Semakula has since said he is looking to add more wives if he has more years. <laughs> Alright, so we have a 94-year-old. Mm. Who has mm. 100 children, yeah. 19 wives, mm. and he just got four more wives. And this is not the accurate number because he said there are some other wives who <laughs> left him. Well, I just declare. Well, I declare. No, I'm not your total, but no, I'm not your. I'm sorry. Now, when I they were too demanding, well, when I take a bit, they need to provide, so I can talk up here. But he's still married. He just added four what? more wives. Jesse. Jesse! Mm. Hey! Undo for the Abraham. Had many sons. You know that out to Nginata and Gomeon. Nginata, guy. Okay. Like no buy a lakini. New Lizard, too. You know, you're to me and you're yake. What to 66 on Asia? I'm not going to get to Apple now. I'm going to get to Apple now. I'm going to get to Apple now. I'm going to get to Apple And the, the youngest wife 24. is 24 and she is pregnant. 10 month year old baby now she's pregnant. Again. Yes. <laughs> Guys, thank you for packaging. No, you can't hear you. <laughs> okay, me, you know, if you if you check, it's in Uganda. If you've ever seen what those guys eat, food yawa same say. Actually, um say at a bado, a jahit target, at a bado. No, the food that these guys eat mm -hmm. actually allows them. That guy is 94 years. I got a mother on a boat, now I'm marrying him. But on a boat. But imagine, this guy, and he's 94. You know, in 94 here, we saw 94. Okay, I stand correct in the job. Pia kuna wengine wako very strong. Yeah. But 94 generally, wamejikunja mahali. Hmm. But if come, kuna noma. Hmm. Lakini 94 huko, ako active. Oh, ako just active use the mic. duty. Sorry. <laughs> Nisi ako active duty. Anataka hmm. watoto parade. Nisikia moja ya kufanya omwa. Like, do you even know all your kids? <laughs> No, no, honestly, Janelle, with all these kids, you have to Yeah, you have to go. You have to go. You have to go. Okay, that's why. Number two, you have to go. You have to go. 
Wa Kenya sinal yes nalikuwa me break record. Huyu anakaa me break eh. Si ndio? Anakaa me break lakini wa kuku alikuwa mother and so. Yeah yeah. Haijafika. Okay, huyu anakaa ndio ma hayuko able to provide vizuri. There's no point in in marrying so many wives and you're not able to give. And why are they getting married to him then? Mbona wanakubali hawa? Let me let me tell you something. For ladies across the world, the status of being married is enough for mm -hmm. most girls. Mm -hmm. Most girls are brought up in the African society mm -hmm. to get to that point of marriage. It's as if you live for marriage. Mm -hmm. That's why Unonanga, ladies who are abused in their marriage, they prefer staying in those relationships than moving out. Simply because people will talk. Mm -hmm. Well, I tend to stand, I, I stand to, ha, ah, Kisongo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. <laughs> The uh, same case for those ladies. You'd mm -hmm. rather get married even if it's by an old man, eh? Mm -hmm. But ukwenyo sita zia kuwa married. Simulio nule de mwa Nigeria mwenye yaliwa the kibillionaire. No, but for mm -hmm. her, I, I had, she was talking the other day, the 19-year-old. Yes. She said the husband didn't even allow her to, to cook. cook or do anything. Like, yani, yaya, yaya ni, yaya ni, how do you, it's trophy. Pretty. She's just a trophy. Yes. So when it's 20 events, 20 nionekane ni kona dem. Ya na naga wa private jet. But you know for her, mm -hmm. she's 19 years, but you know, well, private jet and the stuff. Life, the flashy life, the money. Yeah. And the status of being married. Yeah. Yeah, so well, kila mtu kwa razake, but why get so many children and you're not able to give them quality life? Yeah. Yes, think about it. Yeah. 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 Enye squeeze lakini nimtaekwa parking. Kiti ya pili. Unajua msee akipeleka watoto wake primary school, yule shule mzima imejaa. Government provide. Akipeleka in secondary, government provide. Wait, I feel just reminded me a point like when this story I saw it online and there's this guy who was like this is wrong. Umse ameshikua ribs za wenyewe. Karibu 92 na zimeenda. Lakini tugawie zingine pia. Wives, I love you. Those are 25, close to 25 ribs. But the ratio, the ratio, no, the okay, ratio. let me tell you something. Like, you know, I don't understand this thing, yeah, ratio. Like, uh -uh. people keep complaining about ratio. But like when you look at it, guys are always like, Philip. Oh, damn, God, she seems true. Everybody has like well, one okay. girlfriend. Every guy has one yeah. girlfriend. So what is this? Like? No, every guy has yeah. three girlfriends. You know, you know let, you. Me, let me explain yes. this ratio, Philip. I'm sure you've gone, you've gone to a maternity once. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. maternity. Ask a doctor who has a maternity. What was the rate of delivery? Your men, not today. Funny enough, all my friends that I have had kids for this month. No, in in your in October, at a diamond akona kijana. It's October. I'm just saying that. It's October. Everybody, everybody I know is actually having. It's October, but generally, is having boys. So, Miss Gio, no, no, no. Let's let's actually talk to Sasi for the whole year and for the previous years actually. To them, ni tuingi. a video of a woman trying to look her best on a boat ride has gone viral. The woman's eyelashes were so long <laughs> that she had a very hard time controlling them with some people saying she almost flew away. Let's just have a look at the video. <laughs> So, <laughs> ladies, ladies, shout out to King Kingsley. Kingsley, I'm a smart if KQ was a person. <laughs> okay, thank God we have ladies on the panel today. So, they're gonna help me with this one. I'm gonna start with you, mm. JC. Slay mm. Queens, what's going on? What is going on? Watch any kwambia, your video will be Likuja. 
my best friend and I aliniambia babe unakumbuka ile siku yenye siku ya graduation ile tulibeba na motorbike okay during my graduation mm-hmm. kulikuwa na traffic yeah. so tulishuka gari tukapanda ka motorbike itufikisha kwa gate ya shule and i'm telling you si atukuwa na shades mm-hmm. do you know by the time tunafika kwa hiyo gate yeye hakuwa na moja <laughs> it happens. Imenana upepo. You know experience is the best teacher. It yeah. happens. Hiyo mm-hmm. kitu na nakwambia una struggling hata ukifanya hivi. And yeah, you know you right. cannot even do like this because uta utaribu hii party ya macho, hii mm-hmm. makeup. So lazima tu ukae tu. Ukae tu. It's either it it will go off, itatoka iende yenyewe i fly, mm-hmm. especially kama ni ile ya string kama yeah. si moja moja hiyo kwanza yeah. yake ni hiyo ya kuwekelea ijinge kwa moja moja inge msumbua that much mm-hmm. but kidogo tu apeperuke eh hey. hizo 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 vitu was in a happen Dennis. Mm. she about to take <laughs> off she was a, kidogo wange ati kuna moja moja siji kuna ngapi all this for what for what kuna <laughs> <laughs> to, <laughs> to take off ndo <laughs> hivi <laughs> No yeah. actually this is the problem. Appreciate yourself ladies. Jikubali yeah. vile uko. We Kama love una. you the way you are. Nakaa una. No, ah, tunakupenda tu vile uko. Sasa No. I know. No actually this is the problem. Let's 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 talk reality hafulu. Uh-huh. Una imagine mtu amevaa hiyo kitu vile inafunika ikifungua inafunika ikifungua alafu unapelekea mzazi Udola Let's kaya talk kaya sense. Kaya. Mzazi umepelekea mzazi nyumbani right. atakuita tu kando. Leo acha ni vizuri. Hey. Ai. Munaharibu. Munaharibu shua. Let's be. Let's. <laughs> so that Dennis is mom by the way. <laughs> Oh, Dina, well, I yes. mean, why do you need all that? I understand like maybe sometimes you need lashes, but mm. why would you need like Five inch. I lashes. know. <laughs> What for? She looks like macho. For her she looks like SpongeBob. Wait, uh, she looks like SpongeBob. Yes. And a SpongeBob and a Kapoa. She's alafu na nafanya kimacho kinatoka. There's another one. There's another from Selisema. At I live zake zilikuwa workout. By the time. Bana. Bana. Kama kwa leo mwana macho lazima ukitoka gym vile mtu umwa. At I live zilikuwa And you know that's bad eh ladies maybe perhaps for ladies who use eyelashes out there do you know that your eye suffers the eye has a muscle ile muscle yenye inabebanga hizo nywele it's designed to carry the weight of your eyelashes naturally the way god created it so the moment you add uh, fake eyelashes the extra weight you know mizanga macho if you've ever seen ladies who wear them macho inakuanga red somewhere huku na si juu excess makeup huku nje ni jicho ina strain mm-hmm. macho iko red mm-hmm. haizi kushoa malabda you ignore it but in the long run it has an effect on the body mm-hmm. yes so ladies please myself I'm a natural but if you intend to do makeup kidogo tu it should complement your natural beauty right. not remove everything yeah now another thing men mnasema oh natural we love you the way you are na ukiwa na mimi dema kipita hapo amejeka madoido macho tu si ni kawaida mwanaume kawaida no no hakuna <laughs> unaishi na, na your, your wife your, your lady she's natural hata ameka matuta oh. alikuja na matutu mm-hmm. matuta alafu wewe unavuka you cheat on her with a slay queen mm-hmm. do not do that in my house Afu you. Kitu mike kitu mike ni moja. Unajua nyi madem siku bwana jamii sijui kuficha ugonjwa. The only general unaficha ngi ugonjwa useme ukwe. Unajua nyi mkisoma kwa kwa ile ya kupima kilo nyi mnatokea tans. Ju wig 50. Why bros 30. Makeup 45. Lipstick 90. Hebu soma za piga picha umevaa vya tunachuma hapo. Kile nafunjika. It's a high time ladies yenyewe kama ikuwezi wachana nayo tafadhali. Tunawasaidia tu. Jumi nda kupenda tu vile huko. Okay, mimi sitakupenda vile huko but sasa tabia zako za fanya nipende vile huko. Amen. No, I was just say imeponyoka. <laughs> no, there, there is something there is There is there is admiring yeah. and loving thank you okay lov oh my god yes. there is admiring and loving and that's where we get it wrong mm-hmm. the the essence let me ask you why do you do all this super super unongeza easy makeup ndio tu wapenda si ndio now if we don't do that how do you feel utakana mzazi now if we do that it is a problem <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Able to check out for a while. We're gonna take two minutes just to laugh, you know? We're gonna take two minutes to laugh. And that's why we're gonna take a very, very, very short break. We're coming right back. Keep it white, keep it cold. We have some more stories for you. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>